set it up near side. McLean works it over to the far board. Back out to the point. McLean fires one and it breaks the glass. Oh, wow. Behind Connor O'Brien. Fans enjoying the shot. And this one's going to take a bit of a delay to fix this panel. At 6.56 to play in period one. Here's McLean, sets it up left side, and Derek Brown gives it back to the top of the point. Big blast again by McLean, and he scores! McLean broke the panel of glass. This time he gets a tip in front of Connor O'Brien, and it beats him on the lower pads. Right after the delay, it's Jacks 1-0 on the power play. Set it up on the left wing side. John Russell out of the box. Power play chance now for Odessa. Corrali up top. Slides it over. Here's McLean again. His shot goes wide. It stays low. Connor O'Brien having a tough time seeing the puck through traffic. And right on cue, it's Daniel Corrali making it 2 0 Odessa. And Corbin Kaspersky moving some pads. He might be coming on. Two power play goals for Odessa. Ampish Shodal getting his second assist. Another look at it. There is no chance. Connor O'Brien saw that shot. And that one's pitchforked off the glass and out of the zone by the Jackalopes. Kaspersky leaves it to the corner. Five to go in the red hot blue power play for the Brahmas. Estes trying to bring it back along, he does. Got to look out, here's Menslot by himself. Shoots and scores! Right after the power play, chance for the Brahmas. Dakota Menslot comes out of the uh, penalty box and a perfect feed to him. He has all the time in the world. Nobody went back to help it. And it's three nothing Odessa on the road. Just the third shot on goal of the period for the Jacks, and boy, have they ever been making it count thus far. Granted, you can't put much blame at all on Corbin Kaspersky for that one. Wait a little extra. Kyle Patava showing some movement near side. Lunker taking the draw. Weird face off, and we're going to go right off the draw. Kyle Patava locks up and then slides. That's what they were going for. A big fight behind the net. Patava gets a right. He's trying to change left and right. The linesman, Brett Hommel, comes in to split him up, and he's pulled down to the ice. A good jump from both sides. The Brahmas need it, and they're still going at it hard. Despite two linesmen piggybacking him, Kyle Patava switched from the bubble back to the visor, and him and Dakota Monslaw going at it. That's a six foot two, 225 pound defender on Patava. He tries to ignite the fan base here. North Richland Hills, and they might give them a little bit more than five minutes as he goes back down the tunnel. Dan Wildfong trying to get an explanation from the referees. It must have been for continuing to fight. But there was nothing out of control about that. No player was on top of the other. They were still throwing rights and lefts. Actually, Patava really kind of lost his own balance and didn't really have a firm arm hold on Menslodge because of it. That allowed Dakota to get a few more blows in. The Brahmas try to create that into a goal. They do! Samuel Suominen scores for the Brahmas in four on four. His first goal with the Lone Star Brahmas. A 3-1. The Brahmas have some life. And I hope to goodness Kyle Patav is in the locker room and he hears this place erupt. Because that's a result right there. He got the boys sparked up. What an unbelievable him. feed, too, to get that to Suominen. I believe it was Lundgren who fed it over to him. Samuels on the left side of your screen right there. You see big number five hanging. Here comes Lundgren behind the net. He's going to pick the former USHLer DeMeo. And then look at Samuels just jump up and says, give me that. Probably not, but it still I don't, has to I be don't, a leap. Right, goal. right. I don't think he should be. But we'll see. We'll find out. Same time, same place tomorrow. Rama's the power play right side. They throw it on Rivers. Rebound. Score! Johan Lundgren, back-to-back game for the goal and an assist. This one on the power play. Thomas, sports the crowd. This place is going bananas. The Bronx.
Thomas down just by one. Oh, baby, this place is jumping now. What a call by Martin Melberg on the right side of your screen. He was the one who got it to the front. And it is Lundgren from Wickline and Melberg. Here comes Zach. He just misses the net of Kaspersky. Madea and him tumble down in front of the crease. Ramas come out flying. It's Berardinelli cutting back. He twists from the center. Scores! <laughs> Oh, man. Tyler Trevitt. Natalie Race for penalties. 3-3 three, three, ties the game up. The Rama has scored three in a row. And they're acting like this is a playoff game. This atmosphere is unbelievable right now. Commit Alex Ferrardinelli. The play was entirely set up by him. Trevitt is up there streaking to the net. And Drevich slams it home. The 33rd shot on goal of the night. Lone Star giving it back to Bud Madej. Here comes Johan Lundgren looking for his third point. Peels off, goes back to the right circle. It's Melberg. Wickline has it low. Trade spots with Skelly. Tim from the last point, and the Odessa defense knocks it in. I believe that one was hit by McClain. We'll get another look at it here. I'm still not 100% sure it's in the corner. Look at that, cross ice speed. It's been there all night. Kelly's gonna wind up. He had a approach in first and second, and it gets muffled in. I think it goes off the glove of McClain. You see him cover his face after he does. Four unanswered for the Brahmas. Got to keep the foot on the gas. But you can go on Facebook on Thursday night or Friday morning. We will have a post up fresh for you there. You can vote for who you think is going to score the first goal. The kicker just throwing the time in case a few player, a few fans guess the same player. I do not know how many Swominans they're going to be voting, so there might not be a winner today. But it's the first week we've introduced it, and Alex Berardinelli makes it five. Left wide alone at center, and he snaps one over the blocker side of Gunner River. Thomas five, Odessa Jackalow three. Oh, man. Lee Rafferty in the DJ booth. Playing some DJ cool. Let me clear my throat. The players wanted it this morning, and boy, are they ever getting it here in the third period.